What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys a transfer outfit video for the female character. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the white, blue, and pink joggers as you guys can see in the thumbnail. So this is, like I said, it's going to require the transfer glitch. So you guys will lose all your outfits on your female character if you guys have like transfer outfits that you guys like. But you guys can only save one outfit if you guys have a transfer outfit or an outfit that you guys really like. So, the, so then you guys can save later. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to get these pants right now or the joggers. So you guys are just going to want to hit pause, scroll to online, and then you guys are just going to want to hit swap character. So once you guys are here, make sure your female character is obviously in the first slot. and the second slot, you guys will just want to make sure it is a male. So if it is a female, then just switch it to a male, and then you guys can just hit A or X, so then you guys can get onto a session. Once you guys do load into a session with your male character, you guys are just going to want to go to any clothing store that you guys can see on the map. So if you guys don't see any clothing stores on the map, then you guys will need to find a new session. But I'll get back to you whenever I do get to a clothing store. Okay guys, so once you guys get to the clothing store, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the components for the blue, white, and pink joggers. So I already made the outfits, now I'm just going to be showing you guys how to make them. So if you guys just walk over here to your tops, scroll down to suit jackets, which is on slot 2, and you guys will be buying the gray rolled jacket, which is on slot 33. So after you guys do that, you guys are just going to want to walk over here to your pants. And so whenever you guys get to your pants, you guys are just going to want to scroll down the shorts, which is on slot 3. And you guys will be buying the black heart boxer shorts, which is on slot 13. So after you guys buy the shorts, you guys can just walk over here to your accessories. Whenever you guys get to your accessories, you guys are just going to want to scroll down to your gloves. And whenever you guys click on gloves, you guys are just going to want to scroll all the way down to slot 56 and buy the black fingerless gloves. So after you guys buy the gloves back out scroll up to your watches and whenever you guys click on watches you guys are just going to want to scroll down to slot 31 and buy the lime fruit tech so after you guys buy that watch and your or your other accessories you guys are just going to want to walk over here to your shoes scroll down to smart shoes which is on slot 10 and you guys will be buying the gray slip-ons which is on slot 60. so after you guys buy your shoes you guys can back out walk over here to your hat scroll down to caps forward which is on slot 3 and you guys will be you guys will be equipping the front a lot green cap which is on slot 88 so after you guys equip that cap you guys can just back out and go ahead go over here to the front counter or the front counter and then you guys can go ahead and save this outfit on slot one so after you guys save the outfit on slot one now we're going to be working on how to get the white joggers okay guys now i'm going to be showing you guys how to get the white joggers so this is just basically you guys are just going to have to change your shorts and get another accessory so just walk over here to your pants Scroll down to shorts, which is on slot 3, and you guys will be putting on the tan stripe boxer shorts, which is on slot 10. So after you guys buy the shorts, you guys can just walk over here to your accessories. Scroll down to ties, and you guys will want to buy the navy skinny tie, which is on slot 30. So after you guys buy your accessories, that's basically it. It's basically the same as the first outfit. You guys just had to change your shorts and get an extra accessory. So after you guys did that, you guys can go ahead and save this outfit on slot 3. So, like, I, like the outfits, you guys are going to have to save the the first outfit on slot 1, the second outfit on slot 3, and the third outfit will, be off the, will have to be on slot 5, because you guys can't put them next to each other, or else the glitch won't work. So now, we're going to be working on how to get the pink joggers. So now, you guys are just going to want to walk over here to your tops, scroll down to tank tops, which is on slot 39. So once you guys click on tank tops, you guys are just going to want to scroll down and buy the black tank, which is on slot 35. So after you guys buy the top, you guys are just going to want to walk over here to your pants. Or, yeah, your pants. And then you guys are just going to want to scroll down to shorts, which is on slot 3. Click on shorts. And you guys are going to be buying the red leopard boxer shorts, which is on slot 15. So after you guys buy the shorts, you guys can just back out. Walk over here to your accessories. Over here to your accessories. Whenever you guys get to your accessories, you guys are just going to want to click on chains. And then you guys are going to be scrolling all the way to slot 20 and buy the platinum curb chain. So after you guys buy the chain, you guys can just back out. Scroll down to watches, and you guys will be buying the Lime Fruit Tech, which is on slot 31. So after you guys buy that, you guys are just going to want to scroll down to gloves, and then you guys are going to be buying the Black Fingerless Gloves, which is on slot 56. So after you guys have your accessories, just walk over here to your shoes. Scroll down to Smart Shoes again, which is on slot 10, and you guys will be buying the Gray Slip-Ons, which is on slot 60. So after you guys buy the Gray Slip-Ons, just back out, walk over here to your hats. And whenever you guys get to your hat, scroll down to caps forward, which is on slot 3, and you guys will be buying the fruit a lot green cap, which is on slot 88. So after you guys buy the cap, you guys can just walk over here to the front counter again, and go ahead and save this outfit on slot 3. 
So just like I said, make sure make sure the first outfit you made for the blue joggers is on slot one, the white joggers should be on slot three, and the pink joggers should be on slot five. So now those are gonna be the three components on how to get the joggers. So now you guys are just gonna to wanna to back out, go to your outfit saved, which is on slot one, equip the first outfit you guys made, which should be the blue joggers, and now you guys are just gonna to wanna to take the easy way out. Okay guys, so once you guys took the easy way out and you guys spawned back in, you guys are just gonna to wanna to hit pause, and and then you guys are just going to want to scroll down to creator and hit A or X. Once you guys are in creator, you guys are just going to want to scroll down to create a race. And then after you guys click on create a race, scroll down and create a land race. So once you guys are in the race, race creator, you guys are just going to want to hit on race details. And then you guys can just click on title and just name whatever, whatever you guys want. So after you guys name it, after you guys name the title, scroll down to description and you guys can name it whatever you guys want. And now you guys can take a photo of whatever you guys want back out and then you guys are just going to want to on your maximum players make sure you set that to three if you guys don't if you guys don't set that that to three then this will mess up the glitch so after you guys set your maximum players to three set your route type to point to point after you guys set your rate after you guys set your route type to point to point you guys are just going to want to scroll down the default class this is optional just for your race to go a little bit faster but you guys can set your default class to super so after you guys do that you guys can hit pause and just warp to the airport Okay guys, so once you guys warp to the airport, you guys can just scroll down to placement. You guys can place the trigger wherever. You guys can just take a picture of the lobby camera wherever. Back out, scroll to checkpoints. And now you guys can just place your checkpoints. So you guys will just want to make sure your race is at least 1.05 miles. So I'll get back to you whenever I do set my race to 1.05 miles. Once you guys set your race to 1.05 miles, you guys can just back out and then you guys can just hit test race. Once you guys are in here, you guys are just going to want to test the race, and I'll get back to you whenever I'm about to finish. Okay, guys, so once you guys finish testing the race, it's going to bring up this notification. You guys are just going to hit OK. And so once you guys do spawn back in, you guys are just going to want to hit pause, scroll all the way to online, and hit choose character. Okay, guys, so once you guys are here, make sure you do scroll on your male character, and you guys are just going to want to delete your male character. So it's going to ask if you guys are sure you guys want to delete your mail character just hit yes and then you guys are just going to have to type out delete so then you guys can actually confirm to delete your mail character so once you guys delete your mail character a lot of people forget about this but you guys will need to return to story mode so it's circle for playstation and x or b for xbox so once you guys get back here you guys are just going to want to return to gta 5 which is story mode Okay, so once you guys are in story mode, you guys are just going to want to hit pause, scroll to online, and then you guys are going to scroll to play GTA Online, and then go to an invite-only session. Okay, guys, so once you guys do load back in with your female character, you guys should be wearing the outfit that you guys wanted to save before you guys did the glitch, because if you guys pull up your interaction menu and click on style, you guys can scroll through your outfits, and if you guys had a bunch of outfits, they should be, they should be deleted, so that's why I said make sure you do wear an outfit that you guys want to save before we do do the glitch. So now you guys can go ahead and save the outfit that you guys wanted to save before we do start the glitch. So now the first outfit, you guys are just gonna wanna, which should be the blue jogger. So now we're, we're gonna do a crooked cop. So if you guys don't wanna join a crooked cop, just hit pause, scroll to online, hit jobs, scroll down to play jobs, Rockstar created, scroll down to verses, and you guys are just gonna wanna click on crooked cop. Okay, so once you guys get into a crooked cop, make sure your clothing is set to player owned. And if you're the host, you guys can just hit launch or you guys can just wait for the host to hit launch okay guys so once you guys do load into here scroll down to your owned outfit scroll one time to the right and it should be this outfit with the blue joggers don't worry this doesn't have to be your outfit you guys can only put on the blue joggers that's what this video is basically about are only the joggers so you guys can change the top you guys can change any accessories but you guys can just keep the joggers so now you guys can just hit ready up so once you guys are in here, you guys can just pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on accessories, and if you guys have and if you guys like have any gear, you guys can equip that. Or if you guys have any like glasses or mask, you guys can equip that. Since I don't have an LCD earpiece, I'm just going to equip a helmet or mask. And as you guys can see, the stuff that I didn't want and it, only the joggers is here. So once you guys equip any accessories, you guys can just pull up your phone and leave the job. So as you guys can see, once you guys do spawn back in, you guys should have the blue joggers. Now you guys can go ahead and save this outfit on whatever slot that you guys want. So make sure you do save it on a slot that's not in front of the white jogger. So you guys are just going to want to save this on a different slot. And so after you guys saved it on a different slot, you guys are just going to want to delete the first outfit you guys made, which should be the blue joggers. Now the second one, now the second outfit should be the white joggers. So now you guys are just going to want to start up another crooked cop. 
Okay guys, so once you guys are in a crooked comp, make sure your clothing is set to player own, then you guys can confirm your settings, and after someone is in here, you guys can just hit play. So once you guys get here, just scroll down to your owned outfits and scroll one time to the right, and it should be this outfit with the white joggers. So now you guys can just hit ready to play. So now, you, once you guys spawn in, just pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to accessories, and if you guys have an earpiece or any gear, you guys can just equip that. And so now, once you guys equipped anything, it should be only the joggers if you guys if you guys only came here for the joggers, which you guys most likely have. But now after you guys equipped that, you guys can just pull up your phone and just leave the job. So once you guys are once you guys spawn back in with your female character, you guys can go ahead and save this outfit on another slot that's not in front of the pink joggers. So you guys can go ahead and save it under the blue joggers if you guys want. So after you guys save this outfit, you guys can scroll all the way to the top and delete the outfit the white jogger outfit that you guys did the transfer glitch with. So now you now we're gonna be working on the pink joggers. So now you guys should be able to just pull up your interaction menu and just click on the pink joggers. So as you guys can see, the pink joggers, you just had to do that. For some reason you guys didn't have to do the transfer glitch for this one, but this is what it should look like. If you guys want to keep this outfit you guys can, but I don't prefer it. I just wanted I just did this for the pink joggers. But yeah, so now you guys can go ahead and save it under the other joggers you guys saved. And now I'm gonna be showing you guys a couple outfits I made that you guys saw earlier. Okay guys, so for the blue joggers, I'll be showing you guys the components I did put on with the blue joggers. So just walk over here to your tops, scroll down to sweaters, which is on slot 38. You guys are just gonna wanna click on sweaters and you guys will be buying the black turtleneck, which is on slot 68. So after you guys buy the turtleneck, you guys are just gonna wanna walk over here to your accessories. And whenever you guys get to your accessories, just scroll down to necklaces which should be on slot eight. So click on necklaces and you guys will be buying the pearl bead necklace, which should be on slot two. So after you guys buy that, just scroll down to gloves, which is on slot 10, and you guys will be buying the black woolen gloves, which is on slot 58. So after you guys buy the gloves, just walk over here to your shoes, scroll down to sneakers, which is on slot three, and you guys will be buying the black plain high tops, which is on slot three. So after you guys buy the, after you guys buy the high tops, just walk over here to your hats, Scroll down to Bulletproof Helmets, which is on slot 18, and buy the black Bulletproof. So for this mask, you guys will need to go to the mask store, so I'll get back to you whenever I do get to the mask store. Okay guys, so once you guys get to the mask store, you guys are just going to want to scroll down to Ski Mask, which is on slot 15. So click on Ski Mask, and you guys will be buying the black tight ski, which is on slot 79. So now you guys can go ahead and save this outfit on whatever slot you want. And now we're going to be working on the white joggers outfit, so I'll get back to you whenever I do get to the clothing store. So now, once you guys get back to the clothing store, I'm going to be showing you guys the outfit I did make for the white joggers. So just walk over here to your tops, and once you guys get to your tops, you guys are just going to be looking for sports sweaters. So once you guys get to sports sweaters, which should be on slot 40, you guys are just going to want to buy the Broker City sweater, which should be on slot 1. So after you guys buy the sweater, you guys can just walk over here to your shoes. Whenever you guys get to your shoes, just scroll down the sneakers, which is on slot 3, and you guys will be buying the white plain high tops, which is on slot 4. So after you guys buy the white, white plain high tops, just walk over here to your accessories, scroll down to gloves, which is on slot 10, and you guys will be buying the white cotton gloves, which is on slot 53. So after you guys buy the gloves, you guys can just walk over here to your hats. So whenever you guys get to your hats, scroll down to bulletproof helmets, which is on slot 18, and buy the black bulletproof. So the mask that you guys see that I'm wearing right now, you guys are need you guys will need to go to the mask store. So I'll get back to you whenever I do get to the mask store. Okay, yeah. So once you guys get to the mask store, just walk over here to your mask, and you guys are going to be scrolling down to crime. And so once you guys get to crime, which is on slot eight, you guys will be buying the white t-shirt mask, which is on slot 55. So you guys should only have your mask on. So now you guys are going to need to do the telescope glitch. So you guys can go on the other side of the pier, and there should be a telescope. So I'll get back to you whenever I do get to a telescope. Okay guys, so once you guys get to the telescope, you guys are going to need to do the telescope glitch. So just run, hit right on the D-pad. Your character should glitch where her mask does come off. So pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to accessories, and scroll through your helmets until you guys find the black bulletproof helmet. So once you guys find the black bulletproof helmet, you guys are just going to want to walk away. And as you guys can see, the mask and helmet do combine. So now you guys can go ahead and save this outfit on any slot that you guys want. So now we're going to be working on the pink jogger. So I'll get back to you whenever I do get to the clothing store. So once you guys get back to the clothing store, I'm going to be showing you guys the outfit I made with the pink joggers. Out of the three outfits, this is probably my favorite. I, it just looks really clean. I just, I have always wanted the pink joggers on the male character. I don't know. I think the pink joggers just look clean. But yeah, so just walk over here to your tops. And you guys are going to be looking for sweaters, which should be on slot 38. 
So just click on sweaters and then you guys are going to be scrolling down to the black turtleneck, which is on slot 68. So after you guys buy the sweater, you guys can just back out, walk over here to your shoes, and whenever you guys click on shoes, scroll down to sneakers, which is on slot 3, and you guys will be buying the black plain high tops, which is on slot 3. So after you guys put on the black plain high tops, just walk over here to your accessories, scroll down to necklaces, which is on slot 8, and you guys will be buying the pearl bead necklace, which is on slot 2. So after you guys buy the pearl bead necklace, scroll down to gloves, which is on slot 10, and you guys will be buying the black woolen gloves, which is on slot 58. So after you guys buy the gloves, you guys can just walk back over here to your walk back over here to your hats, scroll down to bulletproof helmets, which is on slot 18, and you guys will be buying the black bulletproof. So for this mask, you guys will need to go to the mask store. So I'll get back to you whenever I do get to the mask store. But once you guys get to the mask store, you guys are just gonna to wanna to walk over here to your mask, scroll down to crime. And so once you guys get to crime, which is on slot eight, you guys are just gonna to wanna to click on it and you guys will be buying the pink camo t-shirt mask, which is on slot 47. So your bulletproof helmet should have fell off, so it only should be your mask. So now you guys are gonna to need to do the telescope glitch. So I'll get back to you whenever I do get to a telescope. Okay guys, so once you guys get to a telescope, you guys should only have your mask on, so you guys will need to do the telescope glitch. So just run, hit right on the D-pad, your character should glitch where her mask does come off. So pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on accessories, and you guys will be scrolling through your helmets until you guys find the black bulletproof. So once you guys find the black bulletproof, you guys can put your interaction menu away and then just walk away from the telescope. And as you guys can see, your mask and helmet do combine. So now you guys can go ahead and save this outfit at the clothing store. And so that's basically it. So I hope you guys did enjoy this glitch for the female character. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.